It was the battle that proved a decisive turning point of the Great War that finally broke the deadlock and changed how wars were fought forever. Commemorating the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Amiens. All day Wednesday on the BBC News Channel. Very warm welcome to BBC News, broadcasting to our viewers in North America and around the globe. My name is Mike Embley. Our top stories. With the United States out of the international nuclear deal with Iran, now President Trump is reimposing sanctions. At the trial of Donald Trump's former campaign chairman, a key witness testifies that he helped Paul Manafort submit false tax returns. Two Britons accused of beheading Western hostages in Syria tell the BBC they shouldn't be sent for trial to the US. And the very moment the tremor struck, Indonesian officials say nearly 100 people have died in the latest Lombok earthquake. Hello, the United States has reimposed sanctions on Iran following up President Trump's decision to withdraw from the international agreement designed to curb Tehran's nuclear program. The first phase of sanctions will target Iran's purchase of U.S. dollars, the trade in precious metals and its car industry. In Tehran, President Rouhani said the Trump administration's previous offer of talks and this latest action together do not make sense. Our North America editor John Sopel has this report. More on all the news for you anytime on the BBC website. You can reach me and most of the team on Twitter. I'm at BBC Mike Embley. Thank you for watching. Hello there. Today we see the last of the hot and humid conditions across the southeast before it's all changed by the time we reach Wednesday. We'll maintain a northwest-southeast split for the next 24 hours. That's because we've got a weak weather front across northern and western areas.